Today, President Biden is expected to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for the first time since those airstrikes. It's a relationship that has grown increasingly tense as of late, as the president here in this country faces mounting pressure to reconsider his administration's support for Israel, put conditions on it at the very least. Weijia Zhang is at the White House for us. She's been following all this. Weijia, good morning. Good morning to you, Tony. Good morning to everybody. President Biden has grown increasingly critical of Israel's military strategy and is expected to share deep frustration with Netanyahu today over a lack of coordination. Biden said Israel has not done enough to protect aid workers or to spare civilian lives. Last week, the administration did not veto a U.N. Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza, as it had done before, which angered Netanyahu so much, he canceled a meeting between his top aides and U.S. officials about a full-scale invasion into the city of Rafah. That is also expected to come up today as the administration pushes the IDF to consider alternative plans. Biden has lost political support as a result of his handling of the war in Gaza, facing numerous protests at various events and at the ballot box. But even though Biden is now sharpening his rhetoric, there has been no change in U.S. policy toward Israel as the U.S. prepares to send 2,000-pound bombs and 25 fighter jets. The White House has called for a swift investigation into that strike that killed aid workers, but said the U.S. does not plan to conduct its own probe, leaving Israel to investigate itself. I asked President Biden directly how he would hold Israel accountable yesterday, and he did not answer. Nate. Well, we'll look forward to him answering that. Weija, thank you.